Hey guys, Matthew here. So it's a little bit late, so I'm probably going to be talking a little bit less loud than usual because my girlfriend is sleeping. Uh, but I went ahead and ran the test again, uh, the 100 T3 barrel mass. This time, though, I did absolutely no investment. The only thing I did is Alk and Go. Uh, I didn't even val any map. Only thing I did is just Alk it and run it and if it had elemental reflect I did not val it I just threw the map away took another one out and fal er, alked another one uh, so I ran a hundred maps this is the currency we got uh, the other stuff doesn't really matter all the tests I do are just based on pure currency uh, I gotta say this time around was more of an average I wanna say like we got one exalt and two divines just a little bit lucky uh, but nothing crazy no doctor cards either uh, but I think you can expect one Exalted Orb every 100 to 200 maps pretty easily. Uh, so nothing crazy there. But anyways, let's get into the calculations. So initial investment was 100 maps, which is basically free. Uh, 100 Alchemies, which is 50 Chaos. That's it. 50 Chaos. Uh, returns was 11 JZPs for 12 Chaos. 70 Chisels is 43.75. 9 regals is 9 chaos, 77 alchemy is 38.5, 58 chaos is 58. I turned my jewelers into fusings for a total of 312, which is 187 chaos. 32 skyrings for 16 chaos, 12 regrets for 12 chaos, 21 vowels at the current rate of 1.9 for 39.9 chaos, and 16 white sextants for 48 chaos. That's pretty impressive though. So our total returns in just normal non-lucky currency it was 464 chaos uh, minus our I investment initially 414 chaos profit because like I said we act I just when I, I I actually just threw away the maps that rolled elemental reflect and whatnot so I wasted absolutely nothing so pure profit 414 chaos uh, if I divide that by it took two hours and a half to run those maps um, if I divide that by 150, we end up with a 2.76 chaos per minute ratio, which is 165.6 chaos per hour. Uh, at the given rate of exalts being about 120, it's basically 1.33333 exalt per hour. Not bad. Then, if I count in the lucky drops, the two divines and the exalt, uh, total actual profit was 564. Divided by, uh, by uh, you know, two hours and a half. 3.76 chaos per minute for a total of 225 chaos per hour which is uh, almost 2 exalts per hour but obviously this result is kind of screwed because we actually dropped an actual exalt which is worth, worth you know 118 chaos uh, so needless to say you do not need uh, to value your maps you do not need to invest in your maps you do not need to do anything else than just hit a val or sorry hit an alchemy and put the map in your map device and run it and you can make a good amount of profit and uh, by the way when it comes to fusings I went with the current market rate which was the same as in the last video and the same thing uh, with the vowels I went with the last uh, the current market rate in the last video just to make sure that everything aligned and that somebody could come over and just be like okay so this was the investment in the other video and this is the investment in this video so for example, if we were to take our total profit, which is 414 chaos, 414 chaos, uh, and uh, go ahead and say we valed 50 maps. Let's say we valed 50 maps out of those 100. So 50 times 1.9 is 95. And then uh, we used 40 white sextants. So 40 times 3, 120, 120. So 414 minus um, 120 minus 95. If we were to actually fully invest in the maps uh, with the vowels, let's say you ha you vowel about half your maps and then you uh, use 40 white sextants to run them, you would only make about four uh, 199 chaos in two hours and a half, uh, which equates to divide by 150 times 60. Uh, something went wrong. <laughs> 199 divided by 150 times 60. So you'd only be making 79.6 chaos per hour, uh, which means you could actually make more chaos per hour uh, running blood aqueducts. 
So in the end, um, investing in your maps is simply not worth it unless you're just and only thinking about getting more doctor cards and you have infinite currency. Uh, then I think it's worth it. Or if you have very limited time. Uh, but if you're in neither of those situations, then don't invest in your maps. Just all can go. You're going to get a lot more money in the long run. Uh, we also did get Aventors, but it's nothing special. It's probably not even going to sell as it is. So I might divine it. might just throw it away. Not sure. Anyways, that's going to be Matthew signing out. Just uh, had to make this uh, little test today as well. Uh, for the people wondering, the video on the divination this year is going to be coming tomorrow. I do have stuff planned tomorrow though, so probably in the late afternoon or something. But anyways, that's going to be it for me. I'm heading to bed, so I'll catch you guys later.